it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and this is a video I'm not real excited to make because I've got a couple problems with my loader. A couple problems I'm aware of and then I'm gonna try to find out if I have any bigger problems or anything I don't know about yet. So I've noticed lately that it seems like there's a lot of slop or movement in my loader especially whenever I push down on something it just feels like the whole thing moves more than it should. That could be my imagination or it could be a problem and we're gonna find out. The problems I'm aware of are with the bucket level indicator. So the little bolt, it's not little, the eyelet that holds up the bucket level indicator at the top broke off and even before that I wasn't sure if it was really adjusted properly so we're gonna replace this and we're gonna adjust the bucket level indicator. Then the other thing we're gonna do is grease everything on the loader and go through and check all the bolts. I've already found just looking over it I went to get the right size wrenches and I found a loose bolt on this side and a loose bolt on that side. So we'll see how extensive the problem is and hopefully it's just a matter of tightening a few things up. I already had a warranty repair on the large bolts that support the mast on one side came loose and broke. Where I'm noticing the play now, I think is more up here, but I definitely want to check those lower ones as well. First, before I do anything, I want to put this under load and move the controller and kind of just show you the play I'm talking about. So as I was doing that, it seems like all the play is in this pin right here and the pin up here where your quick release rides. And those are areas that by design are going to have some play. So I'm going to check the other side of the mast the same way and then we'll work our way down the loader looking for other problems. Go ahead and take a three quarter. So as I look at it, I don't think there's unnecessary play in the mast. I got a three quarter inch socket here. We'll check and make sure all those bolts are tight. Everything seems to be tight here, so I'm going to go ahead and grease these inserts here and then move forward on the loader. I say this every time I do any maintenance, but lock and lube's a winner. Really appreciate this thing. I'll put a link to it in the description. Go around and hit the other side. All right, as we come up the loader, the next thing you've got is these pivot points right here. They've got a bolt on this side. This side, instead of having a nut, has a hook that fits into a slot here. And when you tighten it down with that hook, it can't turn. That's how you tighten your bolt. So you can see on the other side that one of these bolts right here, instead of a bolt, is the eyelet for the bucket level indicator and that one's broke off. Then I found one of these loose and this had come out of the slot and rotated. So I've already tightened that one up. Now I'm going to check all the rest. All right, so this is not the one I tightened up the other day. This is completely loose right here. And so I think this one that's already loose, I'm going to pull the pin out 
and then see how much slop it has in it. Okay, we've got a flat washer and a rubber washer. All right, so taking that out allows me to pivot this up and check the slop in it. I mean, it's got some, but it doesn't seem excessive. I guess, see that's got quite a bit of slop in it, but there's no wear right here. As a matter of fact, there's still paint on the inside of that hole. So that tells me that this is meant to have that slop in it. Otherwise, it'd be gouged and rough in here, and it's perfectly smooth, and like I said, there's even a little bit of paint right there. So, this is what I'm seeing. Let me bring the camera closer. Alright, so this is what I'm seeing that causes me concern. The fact that this rocks like this. But I also understand it has to be able to pivot every time the loader articulates. So, based on what I saw here, I don't see a wear problem there. I think I'll pull these out and look at them also. Alright, turns out that was... So these are actually a 15 millimeter. So, I mean it kind of sucks that these came loose, but... You just always have to be keeping an eye out for stuff like this and you know tightening it up as you go and this is obviously still under warranty if I find a problem I don't know how to fix I can take it in but I just wanted to see what I'm dealing with right now let's take a look at this one and see what kind of slop we have okay it's the same this shaft is oversized for this outside plate. What we have is play in between this pin and this plate, but not play between this pin and the loader. So, I think that's the design of it. Then we've got the same setup down here. Now, I've never noticed any slop down here. Everything looks tight but I'll put a wrench on all of those and make sure okay this is the second loose bolt I found yeah this one's loose too This one has to come out because that's where that eye bolt goes. Where all the other ones are a bolt. This one is a nut on an eye bolt. So for today I'm going to fix this. But I'm leaning towards the idea of having the dealership go ahead and inspect the whole thing whenever I get a chance to get it in there. Because... Now it bothers me why did these come loose and the fact that whenever I tighten them down you've got this rubber washer that was in between there and when I tighten it down that squishes out so I don't know if I'm over torquing them but it really doesn't seem like I would be because however they had them torqued wasn't enough. I wasn't too far from having one of these pins fall out while I was using it. I'm not going to tighten this one up yet because I have to get the angle with the bucket level indicator first. Okay, I've already tightened this one. That one's still tight. I'll go ahead and grease all these pivot points.
All right, those were mostly tied. I tightened a couple of them up just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and grease all those, then we'll put the bucket level indicator on. All right, so everything on here has been greased. I'm gonna stick the bucket level indicator through here. So when that top bolt broke, this was just flopping around, so I pulled this out, just pulled the indicator off. That was probably four or five days ago, and I just got the part in the other day. Alright, so I was about to screw this up again. There are three small washers that go inside of this bucket level indicator. And if you clamp those down against it, it fixes this where it can't move and you don't want it to be that stiff. You want those inside of it. So I had to take it loose, get that right, because the way it came from the factory is when this bolt was tight it could move like this and that's what you want but I'm gonna watch it as I bring the loader up Alright, this should be pretty simple to adjust. I'm just going to set the bucket completely level on the driveway, which is the reason I'm down here to do this. And then once it's level and just barely touching, take this bolt right here loose, slide this down until the bend fits into this, and we should be set up. So, the way you set this, in my mind, there's really not a right way and a wrong way because what this is is a reference point. So it needs to be at a point that seems right to you so that when your bucket is level the way you want it, this sets in that joint the way it's going to look right to you from the operator's seat. So. I'm going to adjust this down, then I'm actually going to get up there and, and sit in the seat and see how it looks. Alright, so I'm no mechanic. And if I've made some mistakes here that you notice, it's helpful to the community here on YouTube and on the Facebook groups to point those mistakes out. You don't necessarily have to call me an idiot, but if you want, you can. Um, I'm just trying to do maintenance on my equipment. And if I had a takeaway from this, it is always be checking your equipment and looking for problems because from time to time you're going to have problems and the sooner you find them the better. I've got a good relationship with my dealership and I think I may just take it in and have them look at it because I feel like there could be some nuances here that I'm missing as far as making sure everything's right. And I don't want to put a video like this out for a lot of people to watch and miss something important. So I'm going to have this checked and if I didn't do anything right I'll update this in a future video explaining you know, what I've missed or failed to show. But, 
I hope this was helpful to somebody, and I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.